This lesson is going to be a lot of JavaScript building of elements, so HTML elements. And by the end of the lesson, we're going to get rid of all of this HTML and just have the one div. And the objective really is to get really, really familiar with creating elements and getting familiar with the syntax. That's why we're going through all of this and doing it via JavaScript, because of course, I know you're here to learn JavaScript. So that we appended the scoreboard. So the next element that we want is we want to have uh, basically uh, kind of an area here that we might want to have a table. And then here we've got the dealer's content and we've got within here, we've got a score for the dealer. We've got uh, dealer cards. So this is going to be where we're going to place the dealer card. And then the same thing for the player. So player score, player card, and then an area to provide a message for the players, some buttons that for interaction and by default we're going to have them disabled and enabled as we allow the user to play through the game and then we also have a message here for the player so amount of cash that they have left and input a number for their bet amount so it's going to be an input field and then a button for the bet amount and then eventually we're going to attach to the buttons we're going to attach the ability to have event listeners so all of that is still coming. And for now, let's create a quick class and we're gonna call this one button so that we do have a button class that we can attach to the various buttons. And this is gonna be a very basic button class. And we'll do a display inline block. And of course, if you want to, you can do all of this with JavaScript as well, but it's gonna be a little bit more complex and quite a bit of repeat of the code. And then adding in some padding so they look a little bit more like buttons and update the font size as well. And actually this should be 0.75 and this should be point and then the line height. So that's enough styling for the buttons and let's open the JavaScript and let's get to it. So first create the element name, create the variable name. The first thing we do is create the variable name. So I'm just going to call it table and then document create element. And the element that we're creating is going to be a div and then game dealer this is going to be where the dealers contents are. So once again, document, create element and create an, an element div and then dealer cards. We're going to do a very similar naming convention for the player content. So document and make sure that when you are naming them, they are something that makes sense because we are going to need to be able to update these elements and select them. So the more semantic the names are, the better we're going to be able to work through the game. So we're going to not always have to go back and check. And you might also want to comment to ensure that uh, you know exactly what we're expecting within this, with this element. So dealer cards and updating the text content. And it's going to say the content here. So this just says dealer card. So add in dealer card. And we also need one for the score. So this is the dealer score. And we'll create an element for this one as well. So create element. Now we just make them all as divs. And we can apply styling as needed. So we're setting the game dealer score. And the initial text content, will, just as we do in the HTML example. And I can save that. So we haven't, obviously haven't added any of this content yet to the, down at the bottom, we've got game main, and then using append, just as we saw earlier, we're gonna append the game table contents, so we can save that. And then over here, let's do the game table append, and append the various elements that we created. So we're appending the game dealer, and occasionally you'll have to go back to the HTML just to make sure that you've got the structure right. So you've got that main ID object. So this is going to be represented here in the parent. And then immediately underneath there, we've got that score that we've already added in. And then within there, we've got another element here, just another div, and that's going to be representing the table. So all of the content within table is going to go in there. And then we've got another one that's just going to represent the dealer content. And this is where we've got the dealer object. So that's represented in there. So we need to add in within the game table, the game dealer. So we've got that added there. And then going back, we've got another one where we've got another element there for the score. So this, within the score, we've just got the dash. 
but we also see that within the score so when we go game dealer score there's also a class called score so you can add in class in a number of ways you can use class list if you're just adding in one and if you've got multiple element attributes that you want to you could do class as an ad attribute and then class and then the properties of that attribute but in this case we only have the one so we're going to use class list and then add and adding in a class of score and we also need to append to the game dealer this dealer score content so using append once again appending game dealer score into that element so save and we can see we're already starting to look more like that and then the next one is we've got the dealer cards so the same thing and actually the order doesn't matter because it's just going into the object so you might want to keep them within a more strict order or you might be a little bit more flexible so it actually doesn't matter because once you've got the element selected then you can append it you can update it and you can do all kinds of amazing things all done with javascript so we also wanted to add in the dealer cards value so we've got the dealer card so it's already starting to look quite a bit like what we see here at the top and we also need to do the same for the player and this structure of the player stuff is pretty much the same thing as the dealer stuff so you can literally just copy and paste it and update this as player and instead of dealer cards we can just use player so i'm going to copy and paste to save some time so this is player cards player cards player cards and we'll just write the word player card just to match with what we have down here and instead of dealer score we'll have player score so we have real consistency in how we're naming it and then when we're doing the appending we're going to append everything the same way and actually this one should be append dealer and this one should be append player so let's see what this looks like uh, so so far so good looks very similar to what we have i'm going to make it bigger so that we can take a better closer look at the contents of it so within the game id and this one we have the same structure and then within the next div we've got the first div and open that and we see that it is matching so this is something that brackets has adding in it's adding in the data brackets id so if you're not using brackets you're not going to see that so if in case you're wondering why there's all these ids so it's attaching this because it's constructing all of this stuff dynamically so just ignore those and you can see we've got score we've got the dealer card and then next div is the score and the player card and let's uh, just check score player card so everything is on track and then next we need to do some of the buttons and this is going to be a little bit more complex so we'll hold off till the next lesson for this and in between the lessons you can continue to construct your html using javascript and this is a great opportunity to get lots of practice in here as to construct elements and interact with web page elements using JavaScript. So coming up, more constructing of elements.